For Shift Gold, I'm Albert Liu. I'm very pleased to be joined uh, today by Doug Casey, the international man who joins me from Argentina. Doug, how are you? Super, Albert. Nice to talk to you. Doug, we're having a fantastic year in gold. It's up uh, over 18% year to date. We just got a bump today uh, of over half percent. Uh, it's a fantastic year. What do you think turned this market around? Because it was downhill for quite a while there, for a while. Well, it's not just gold. It's actually all the commodities peaked back in 2011, and that was five years ago. Five years is a long bear market. Uh, in the meantime, even while commodities have been going down, all of these idiotic governments have been reducing interest rates uh, and printing up trillions of new currency units. So at this point, I expect that the upside in gold and most other commodities, not all of them, is going to be explosive. Uh, we're at the precipice of what I call the Greater Depression. Things are going to be so scary by the end of the year, I think that there's going to be a panic in the gold and out-of-paper currencies. So. You know, these small, this small up move that we've gotten here since the beginning of the year, that's just a harbinger. I, I think we're, this time around, we're looking, we're looking at $2,000, $3,000 an ounce. I think it's going to be incredible. It's going to be scary. It's going to be so incredible. Uh, you actually came on my show earlier, made a prediction. You think that basically we're going to hit the tail end of what you called uh, the Greater Depression hurricane. You think that's going to happen in 2016? I, I think we. I think that by the time the year comes to an end, people are going to feel like we're back in 2008. Except it's going to be much different than 2008, much worse, and last much longer than what we saw in 2008 and 2009. Uh, this time, I, I think it's going to be. It's so hard to say how. It's going to be financial chaos. I'm not going to say it's going to be catastrophic deflation, which is entirely possible with all of the debt in the world, so much of it could be defaulted on, which could wipe out trillions of currency units, or whether it's going to be hyperinflation as these stupid central banks create even trillions more currency units. So you've got these two titanic forces that are going to be fighting against each other at the same time. Uh, so I don't know which one is going to win. I'm just predicting that it's going to be uh, chaos and the Greater Depression is as we go into the trailing edge of this hurricane. It's going to be very scary. Yeah, it could be uh, not one or the other, but both. Actually, you could have this tremendous deflationary crash uh, later this year, and of course that sends people into gold because of fear. But what really makes gold <laughs> go up is when they come back with their solution that is the, the Federal Reserve, the Treasury, the government, when they basically implement their solution, be it helicopter money, QE, or something else, isn't that what really sends gold shooting to the moon? Yes. Yeah, there's going to be a panic into gold. And I hope that uh, since the gold stocks are so low right now that they're just a micro cap area of the market and the exploration stocks are a nano cap area or maybe even a pico cap area that uh, when the public gets the, the gold bit in its teeth, these little stocks are going to take off. It's going to be like trying to get the contents of Hoover Dam through a garden hose. So it's going to be really explosive with a little bit of luck. But now, um, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I can't tell you how bullish I am on gold and also on silver. Uh, different, different metal, different characteristics, potentially, uh, even more explosive though. Yeah, let's talk about silver a little bit. It obviously was just beaten up even worse than gold for so long. Now it's come back. Uh, that ratio is coming back to sort of where we have seen it in the past, hit a, a, an 11 month high lately. So are, you're still bullish on silver, more so than gold or the same as gold? You know, it's hard to say. The, the thing with silver is it's a, a much smaller market than gold. About 800 million ounces of silver are mined every year as opposed to about 80 million ounces of gold. Um, and that's one dynamic that's interesting uh, because it, it, it sells for, uh, what is it at the moment? I don't know, 70, 170th the amount per ounce of gold. So 
you can argue, well, maybe it should be higher. Also, it has many more industrial uses than gold, many, many more, and more are being found all the time for both metals. Uh, they're both uh, high-tech uh, metals that uh, in today's uh, high-technology world, they're constantly finding more uses because silver uh, is the most reflective and the most conductive of all uh, the 92 natural, naturally occurring elements. Uh, this is very critical. And of course, gold is the most um, non-reactive, the most malleable, and the most ductile. So they both have tremendous industrial uses. Uh, on the other hand, however, uh, silver is mainly an industrial, not a monetary metal. So that augurs against it. But yes, I, I don't know which is going to happen, but if, if silver does take off, because it's such a small market, it's much more volatile. It could go to $100 this time, no problem. Very good, Doug. I know you got to run, so thank you for taking the time to talk to us today on Shift Gold. Really appreciate it and look forward to talking to you again soon. Uh, my pleasure, Albert. Thank you.